So, you've thought about 3D printing a Mandalorian helmet. Now, this is what got me into 3D printing. Uh, I did want to make an Iron Man suit first, but I wanted to 3D print a Mandalorian helmet. Now, if you're going to start with that, you're going to need some files. Now, there's a few websites that you can use. Do3D uh, being one of them. That's where I got this file from. Um, as you can see, they've got plenty of Mandalorian uh Files on here, different helmets, Boba Fett, Bo-Katan. This was actually a free file when I got it. They do do uh, different files that are free certain days. I happened to bag it before it was taken off. Now it's $30. I do have uh, a code where you can get that cheaper. Or if you do want to get the free version, you can go on Thingiverse, type in Mandalorian Helmet. And you should come up with something looking like this. Now, this is the best one I can find. 3D, uh, sorry, a free file for the Mandalorian. Now, it's in. it looks in good uh, quality. I've downloaded these files myself. I've not actually 3D printed this one yet. Um, as you can see, the earpieces are separate right here. So you can get a better detail, especially on the back with a Mandalorian helmet. If, you've, uh, if you're a big fan, you might know it's got like a grill, grilled thing, uh, <clears throat> grilled vent on the back. And this other ears both come off. Same with the Do 3D uh, version as well, which is <clears throat> this file. So this is the one that will be slicing. This is the grill I was talking about at the back. So if you were to 3D print that without, it's a bit of a pain. You can, there is files where you can print it all in one, saves you messing about. But if you're wanting a good finish, this is your best bet, getting them separate. So let's have a look. So once you've got your files, you're going to want to put it on your um, slicer, uh, your 3D printing software, depending on what uh, you're printing on. If you're printing this on maybe an Ender 3, this is at 100%, as you can see, it's not going to fit. There is ways to do it. You can make it smaller. I think I've got one at 90% out of an Ender 3. Uh, you have to mess about with it, tinker with it, especially this file. Um, what am I doing there? This file, uh, you can get it on about 90%, maybe 92 from what I remember. Um, you do have to play around with it. Some files are a lot different. See this do 3D file, see how steep this is. You'll get the one on the uh, Thingiverse. It seems to be a lot more square, which isn't as accurate as I'd like. So I did end up going with the do 3D. So if you're doing it on Ender 3, you can get it. Otherwise, you're best off slicing it on something like Mesh Mixer, uh, doing the top off, and then probably printing it in the back and size in about three or four prints it depends depends all depends on what printer you've got but for this purpose of this video we will be printing it on my cr10s pro so if you've ever tried slicing one of these things you might have realized when you come to do it it comes up with an absolute ton of supports now you can see it's going to take five days 11 hours and 32 minutes one and a half kilos of filament that's like near enough 30 pound 30 quid in filament pla plus that is as i always use pla plus and that's at a slow quality you know 0.28 millimeters i'm not really going to go too much into settings but as you can see a big block of that is just supports so i'm going to show you how you can stop that so we're going to go and prepare this is still at 100% by the way, you don't actually have to print it at 100%. I think, like I said, 95 or 92% were the one that actually fitted me. So to do that, to stop the support from building on the inside, you still want to have this part here, the ridge here. You're going to want that supported because if not, it's not going to print right. It's going to sag down. It's not going to be right. But underneath the dome, as you can see that big red, Splodge there, that's what you want to get rid of. That's the main support, that's what's going to take you all your time. So, you're going to want to go and prepare and this little icon here. Can you see that? 
this little icon here is to block supports so you just place one down and then you will alter this like you would a 3d print stretch it out and you can mess around with this as much as you want but you're going to want to you're going to want to cover all basically all of this region around here so once you go roughly in the middle stretch it out oh sorry still moving it it's hard trying to watch two screens i'm not used to doing this filming them so yeah you can extend it obviously you don't want uniform scaling on which is me being silly again for the purpose of the video so you're going to want to uh, extend that fully down and spin it around so it's roughly in the size of there and as you can see now it's taking a big chunk of that red out but you're still going to, it's not covering it all so you're still going to want to extend it a bit more out a bit but you don't want to do that visor you don't want to be taking into that visor because like i said you're going to want those supports and you're going to want the supports around the middle as well so if anything's creeping up here you know you know you've gone too far but if you look underneath you can roughly see that it's a lot better so like i said once you keep messing around with it tinkering with it you get this roughly to size it might be a bit missing here um, you can alter and move it around until you get it perfect ideally like i said you don't you don't really have any supports here but you don't want anything coming through the visor now if you've printed them before you're gonna know that the main thing with these is once you um, printed them you tend to get your supports here which are really quite strong and you'll crack them off and they, some of them break around here which is absolute soul destroying if you spent two days on you know trying to get a nice print but like i said if you take your time you can uh, you can get a new a real good print it doesn't really matter if you extend it through your build bed as long as it's not coming through your visor and obviously you'd hit slice i'm not really like i said i'm not going to go into settings or anything like that and there we have it once it's sliced we've got it down to two hours uh sorry two days and 19 hours that's still a lot you can mess about with there's definitely some more supports i can knock off of there but that's uh 600 29 grams so before it was like 1500 so it saved 900 there for the purpose of the video i just chucked another quick one in at the back i could definitely pro probably get that down even more one thing i should have really mentioned when you do actually print these you're going to even without supports at the top you're going to get all your layer lines so if you lean this back you're going to tend to get them more at the front so if you can you want to get this as close to the build bed as you can i've printed it like this but if you're going to be putting in work with these anyway don't really matter if it's here or here if you want to knock a few hours off your print by all means lean it back if you if your build bed's big enough get it here work it out sand it out what have you but if not like i said it might be worth just trying to lean them back a little bit Yeah, something like this like i said to be said to be honest it's about an inch probably an inch and a half so it might be worth doing it like that like i said it might cut three or four hours off your print so there's definitely improvements i could make to that that was just a quick video just to give you a rough idea of how you could get that print time down uh obviously the new season season three starting soon in march so I'm sure everybody's going to want one of these bad boys. Get it on the print bed, get messing about with it, find what size you need, and get it printed.